Hello my lovelies! For today's video we are doing a hair tutorial using the Revlon One Step Volumizer Hair Dryer. So I have freshly washed hair, I'm going to give it a good brush through, and then we're going to put in a little kind of leave-in conditioner product. This is the Unwind by Hask Red Wine Inspired 10-in-1 Leave-In Spray. Um, it does a really good job at making my hair feel nice and healthy and soft. Plus, heat protection is one of its benefits, and that's really important whenever you're using heat on your hair. Um, because my hair is a little bit extra damaged from the bleach, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of the Chi Silk Infusion on my ends, just to get a little bit of extra protection in that area. Alright, and then once all that product is in, I'm going to give everything one more final brush through. Um, because of how this brush is designed, it has kind of two types of brush. <laughs> That's not the correct term. But it has like the little nylon brush heads and then it has more of a bore bristle. Um, and so if there's any tangles in your hair, it will pull on them. So I'm going to go ahead and section off the top of my hair, brush through the bottom one more time, and then we're going to jump in with actually drying the hair. So this brush is obviously designed to give you the same effect as using a round brush and a hair dryer. So kind of that volumized, smooth, slightly curled type of look, I guess is how you would explain it. So you really want to try and get that round motion going. Um, I have found that if your hair is slightly more towards the dry side, um, I would recommend using this on damp hair, at least for my hair type. But if it's a little bit more on the dry side, the brush will pull through it easier. So you can see that I push the brush up against kind of the root area of the base there as close as I can. Um, without burning yourself, obviously, and be careful. This tool does get very hot. Um, so I push it up against the roots. And then normally I will do a brush through once or twice before I really start doing that rounded motion just to prevent any pulls. If you do get tangled, just unwrap it until you can brush through and then just keep on going. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just push in at the base and then I pull down through until kind of the ends are starting to go up into the brush. And that's when I really start going in with that rounding motion. And you're just gonna do this step on all the sections of your hair. Um, if you have pieces that aren't drying quite as well, sometimes I will do like a normal, like if I'm just brushing my hair with a normal brush, um, just to get a little bit more of the moisture out to help it pull through easier. And then as I finish a section, I kind of just do half of my head and then the other half. So as I finish the section, I really give it a good brush through. And then I just do that rounding motion on the ends really well after I'm done. Um, we're going to destroy this super cute curl that formed on the other side of my head. But you can see here, this side is drying a lot faster. And it's brushing through and doing that wrapping motion a lot easier because it has had a little bit more time to air dry. So we're just going to keep doing that wrapping motion. So we'll take a section, brush through it a couple times, and then start doing your rounding motions. And if you do want a little bit more volume, you can pull your hair up more. Like if that makes sense, at more of an upward angle and that will give you a little bit of extra volume. All right, and then once we're done with that bottom section of the hair, I'm going to give it a really good brush through at the back especially, just to make sure everything is nice and dry. And then we're going to pull down our top section. Um, now it is easier for me to do this in, like, in half, because I do have more hair up here than at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to just take one side and pull it down, give it a good brush through, and then really start um, just repeating the same steps. Um, the top tends to be a little bit more difficult for me because being pulled up in the clip, the moisture stays in my hair rather than drying out. But we're just going to repeat the same steps and then the top side just usually does take me longer because of that. Um, the fact that it stays more wet up top. 
And then once again, I'm just going to give it a really good brush through and round the ends, just like we did on the bottom section. But then after that, I'm going to start pulling just like the very top pieces up here because it's harder to get the brush up that high. So just very small sections along the very top root of your hair. And we're going to dry those, uh, those spots a little bit more. And then we're just going to repeat the exact same thing on that side. And then this is kind of the finished product it gives me. So you can see it, everything looks nice and shiny and smooth. I'm giving everything one more good brush through. You can see that my natural curl along my hairline really stays there. Um, that's always my difficult spot for my hair. But it, this is kind of the finished look it gives us. So it's not perfect. Um, so what I like to do is just go in with a straightener on my little problem pieces. I don't want to straighten like the full piece of hair and my hair straightener isn't quite hot enough yet so we're gonna wait for that <laughs> but once it is I really just do the problem area I don't do the full strand because I want to keep that slightly curled volumized finish that the dryer did give us so I'm just going through doing the problem pieces for me this is typically like I said right along my hairline and then in the very back of my head it typically doesn't get as smooth so I'll just go through any pieces that don't, that are still like a little textury, a little curly, not quite straight like the rest of it. Now for me, because this doesn't get my hair like completely straight and smooth, I prefer to give it a little bit more of a messy look. Um, and so for that, I am actually going to jump in with a texturizing spray. And today I'm going to be using the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. Um, so I just give this a good shake and then I spray it kind of like where you dr spray dry shampoo So more on the roots through kind of the midsection of your hair And then once that's in I really just kind of scruff it up scrunch it so that it puts a little bit more volume and texture throughout the hair um, in this root area and Then because it does get a little crazy I'll just smooth it out and then I really just kind of mess around with my hair um, flip it upside down, flip which side it's parted on until it gets to a point where I like how it looks. Um, and that's going to be the finished look for this hair. Um, overall, I think this brush is pretty good. It does have, um, the, like the one thing is that it's big. You can see that it's like bigger than my head. <laughs> so it can get a little bit heavy. Um, and then these little places where kind of the heating plate sticks out can be easy to burn your fingers on so you just want to be careful of those um, but all in all I really like this dryer um, I did use it on the low setting so it does low high and cool unless you have really curly kinky hair I would recommend using the low heat setting because it still gets really hot and then that is actually going to be it for this video um, I really hope you guys enjoyed Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave, and I will see you all in my next video.